Graphics card prices on the used market are finally starting to make sense. Well, at least some of them. And whether you care about buying a used GPU or not, the secondhand market is an extremely valuable resource of information and can drastically affect the price and availability of even new graphics cards. Let me explain. During the height of the recent cryptocurrency boom and the GPU shortage, graphics card prices were reflective of their return on investment, meaning the price of a GPU had almost nothing to do with gaming performance, but everything to do with mining performance. But now, the situation has been flipped in reverse. And no matter your opinion on the GPU used market, the fundamental truth is that it's incredibly important to the entire GPU market segment as a whole. And if you do consider a used GPU, you can find some exceptional deals, especially as some of the most popular new graphics cards still haven't come down to their original launch MSRP. So today, we are diving deep into used GPU prices and comparing them to the current state of new graphics cards. Not only do we have a lot of data to cover and predictions that we can discern from it, but at the end of this video, I'm also going to be making solid AMD and Nvidia recommendations. Because yes, used prices are definitely lower, but are they low enough that you should actually be considering them? Let me explain. But before we get into that, let me show you something I think you're really going to like. The fundamental reason why I make videos for you to enjoy is because I love to learn. And if you're watching this, you probably love learning too, about topics and hobbies that really excite you. But I'm not talking about this kind of learning. I'm talking about the new wedgie-free way of learning that's better for your brain and your butt. I've been using Skillshare for about six months now and I can't recommend it enough, especially when it's free. Animation, film and video, web development, and many more categories with thousands of classes to choose from. Taught by some of the best professionals and industry leaders like advanced video editing with Premiere Pro by Jordi Vanderput, which has helped me advance my ability and make better content for you guys. So whatever your passion, your career aspirations, or your business idea, browse the classes below and start your journey today with a free 30-day trial of Skillshare. But this offer is only for the first 1,000 people to click on the sponsor link in the video description. So get them while they last and make today the day you get on your path to success. So before we get our hands dirty on the data, which is years worth of reporting directly from eBay, I need to quickly address a couple of concerns that have been floating around recently, which is first and foremost, even if a secondhand card was mined on, and it's fair to assume that it has been, buying a used card can be a fantastic option with minimal risk, depending on the platform that you purchase it from. I've gone into this a lot in other videos, so check those out if you are concerned about buying used. Additionally, and this is something that's come up in multiple different ways, depending on the stance, but there is no moral high ground here. There's no moral high ground no matter which stance that you take. Companies focus on profits, which is what miners cared about. So supporting one is just as bad as supporting the other. And the only moral stance that I have on this is to try and find you the best value. And if you are 100% against use, that is also cool too. This information will still be extremely useful. And the beautiful thing about independent thought is that we can discuss that in the comment section below. The only thing that I really ever ask down there is for you to be civil. So before we cover use and new GPU prices, let's take a look at how the used market has been stacking up recently, especially when we consider the new generation. So the first question that you should have is how are prices right now compared to say a month ago, two months ago, or even further back than that? Which brings us onto this graph. This is the average sale price of each GPU spanning all the way back to November, 2021. Now I do actually have data spanning significantly further back than this, but November, 2021 was the highest that all prices were over the last year and a half. And I will be looking to include Intel Arc in these videos soon. But since then, prices have significantly been coming down. I mean, this is the RTX 3090, I assume. Yep, $2,940 as the average sale price. That is kind of crazy. But since then, prices have been significantly dropping. And I'm going to throw up on screen this data in a more organized way that's more legible for both AMD and Nvidia so that you can see just how bad it was compared to where we are now. Feel free to pause the video at this point. But the reduction in price can be seen all the way down to September, October of last year. We're talking about five, six months ago. And then prices start to increase. Now, this could be due to a couple reasons, but the first one that springs to mind is the Christmas holidays. Maybe a better way to show you this data is having a look down here. And what we've done, instead of a line graph for everything, we've bar charted every single GPU over the months and then giving you the average with this pink line graph. And as you can see, the average sale price for GPUs 
is being trickling downwards since November 2021 until it reaches about September time and then starts to increase from there. So fundamentally, is now even a good time to consider a used GPU based on historical average price per graphics card on the used market. Well, pricing is on par with the lowest it's been over the last few years. So what that means is that September, October and January last month were the best times to buy a GPU in terms of pricing compared to the last couple years. And I do expect this to continue trending downwards as we progress through 2023. In fact, we can see why this would happen by looking at one of the best metrics to predict future price trends the sell-through rate. This shows the percentage of listings that ended with a sale. And when the sell-through rate is high, that demonstrates high demand compared to stock levels, meaning it's a seller's market and prices will likely rise. Whereas a low sell-through rate, as you see here, suggests that it's a buyer's market with plentiful stock and the need for sellers to be more price competitive. So with this trend, prices will likely continue to come down on the used market. But just because used prices are good right now compared to other used prices doesn't mean that they're good compared to new prices. Because if you're not saving a decent amount by buying used, honestly, there's just no point. So with January's used pricing, how does that compare to the new market? Let's take a look at that now. So with January's pricing, how does that compare to MSRP? Which brings us onto this chart. Now, what I've done is taken the average use price and compared it against the MSRP of each graphics card to see how the prices stack up. See which cards are well-priced and which cards are not so much. Take for example, the RTX 4090, still being scalped at well above its MSRP, right here. Currently being sold for $2,083 compared to the $1,600 MSRP that was quoted by Nvidia. But some other cards are doing pretty well compared to their MSRP. Take high end Nvidia RTX 3000 series. RTX 3090 and 3090 Ti, significantly lower than the pink bar right here. Pink bar represents MSRP, the blue bar represents the average use price for the month of January. And again, looking pretty good for AMD across the stack. And in fact, the better way to view this is probably as a percentage, viewed as a bar graph right here. Again, you have the MSRP on the left-hand axis, the vertical axis, and each and every bar represents the percentage of MSRP that it's currently selling at on the used market. So let's talk about some of these averages. Right here, we have average for RDNA2 at 66.92% compared to its MSRP, which sounds pretty good. That's 33%-ish off its MSRP. And then for Nvidia Ampere, they are more like 15% off compared to MSRP. Whereas the new generation is mostly being scalped on average. But if you guys have been with me for a while, you should probably know that MSRP is not the metric that we should be looking at, not the metric that we should be comparing against. So what do new prices look like and how does the used market compare to them? Now, what I've done is taken the average use price and compared it against the lowest new prices that I can find. Now, what do I mean by lowest new? Well, another video that we do in this series is the best GPU to buy right now, which is all new cards and new prices. And one of the things that I've been doing for you guys in that series is in the comment section of that video, every single day, I've been tracking the lowest price for every single model and updating the comment section of that video to make sure that you're getting the best price GPU for the model that you're looking for. And one of the benefits for doing that is I have historical data for the lowest price GPUs for every single model. So what we're looking at here is the lowest price GPU for every single one of these cards, the lowest price it has been between the 28th of January and the 5th of February compared to the used market the average price in January. So if you were to wait about eight days, you'd likely be able to get one of these GPUs at one of these prices. Let me explain it a little bit further. On the left-hand side on the vertical axis is the MSRP for each of the GPUs. And then the pink bar right there is the lowest price that I could find throughout that time period, which brings us onto the blue bar, which is the average use price for the month of January. And as you can see, the RX 7900 XTX and the RTX 4090 still currently being scalped as of January 2023. But what this graph also shows us is which GPUs are the best price on the used market compared to what you can buy new. 
And you can do this by comparing the pink graph, how big it is, compared to the blue graph, something like the RTX 3090 Ti. Currently the lowest new price that I could find over about eight days is 1,690. Whereas compared to the used market, $1,114. That's quite a big percentage off, but it's not really a GPU that shows very good value. And we'll get to value in a second because I do not recommend this GPU for nearly everyone. So let's take a look at a card that's kind of more in line with what I would recommend. Something like the 6600 XT, showing a decent portion off compared to what you can buy new compared to used. But it's worth bearing in mind that there's something to consider in comparing the lowest new to the average used graphics card. And that is that you'll likely be able to find cheaper used GPUs than what we have quoted here. And we will take a look at some of the cheapest legitimate options that I can find in a bit. But the reason why I've done it this way is that there's basically a guarantee that you'll be able to find these prices as a used market is much more volatile compared to the new market. And it absolutely helps no one. If I find the only 3080 that's being sold for $300 and use that to compare against. And for lowest new, all that you would have needed to do was check in with my other video and you would have found that price. But before I suggest which AMD and Nvidia GPUs that you should be targeting, let's take a look at some of the extremely well discounted options and how they might be misleading. So let's take a look at percentages right here. This is a master chart of the percentage use market compared to lowest new. So the lowest new price that I could find during that timeline is on the vertical axis right here in the square brackets and the cost of the same GPU on the use market shown as a percentage right here. So take the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, for example, currently selling on the use market for 61.53% which sounds fantastic. Until you realize that on the new market, the lowest price that it was sold for that I could see between that timeline was $1,159, which is absolutely stupid. You really wouldn't consider that card when you could just buy the 3080 Ti for significantly less. So let's have a look at something more reasonable. For example, the RX 6650 XT, fantastically priced on the new market at $260, which means that on the used market, it's really not that good a deal at 97.24%. But something like the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte, 79.81%. That's looking like a pretty good used market deal, given that the lowest one that we could find was $360. And of course, a couple of the new generation are just being scalped. So at this point, it's probably worth asking yourself, how much money or what percentage would you expect to save when buying used? And at what point does it become worth it? For me, maybe in the region of about 30% sounds like a good target, but not many of these cards are that discounted. But as I said before, we are comparing the lowest new to the average use. So let's go on the hunt to find the cheapest legitimate listings for a few of these models to see how the best prices compared to lowest new. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the things that I was really struggling with is providing accurate and realistic lowest used GPU data in a meaningful way that's valuable for you guys. I am happy to check over the listings, but that really doesn't mitigate the fact that I may find something that's unrealistically low or if that specific listing was scammy. And if we use that data point, it may not provide any value or even worse, it may mess up the data to the point where it becomes worthless. So I've come up with a solution for this video and also a better solution moving forward. Let me show you. To combat this problem, what I've done is gone through the five lowest price listings on eBay for each of these models. Then what I did is average those prices to get a more realistic representation of the lowest used GPUs. But for this video specifically, this data is from a single day, two days before this video is going to go live. But there is a better way to do this. And the way that we will be doing it moving forward is using the average for something like the lowest 5% of listings for that month for each model to give us a much better representation of low used GPU prices. My goal is to always try and provide you the most accurate and useful information I can. And I feel like that is the best way to do this. But let's take a look at how the lowest used compares to the lowest new and see what which models are actually worth considering. Which brings us onto this graph with some interesting results. There's some decent Nvidia discounts compared to new with the RTX 3060 being had for about 25% less on the used market. But the 3060 Ti's new pricing is quite strong compared to used and probably is not worth considering. 
then taking a look at the RTX 3070 and above is about 30% less, or even better, moving into the high end. But it is worth remembering that the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte is a bit of an anomaly, as it's unreasonably priced on the new market right now. AMD, on the other hand, shows the 6600 and 6600 XT providing the most amount of discount compared to new, which is about 20% off, likely because there's less AMD cards in circulation compared to Nvidia, and they're also providing the best value on the new market right now, making used versions of these cards less of a good deal without further price reductions on the used market. So do take a good look here and maybe even pause the video. Think about the cards that you have been eyeing and consider if there's another model that may be a better option, or if the new market really isn't that much more expensive compared to use, then you absolutely should check out the best GPUs to buy right now, where we update prices daily in the comments section and cover pricing with an in-depth performance breakdown at different resolutions. And you can check that out by clicking here. But if you do find a great used GPU, make sure that you check out this guide for how to buy a used graphics card as safely as possible. And you can check that out by clicking here. Otherwise guys, share, like, subscribe, they are always appreciated. And I hope you have an amazing day.